Hello friends, welcome back to my show. In this video, we shall be discussing a scientific paper published recently by three eminent researchers. And this paper demonstrates that the lockdown measures that were imposed across the world were just a farce and they only resulted in the worst economic disaster ever in the history of mankind. So let us have a closer look at this paper. So let us first see what this paper concludes. What does science have to say? This paper concludes that lockdowns and shutdowns during the pandemic saved almost no lives at all. That is a very startling revelation and will not go down well with most people. The scientific paper that I am referring to was published in January 2022. It is a meta-analysis and this means that it is a quantitative formal epidemiological study designed to systematically assess the result of previous research on this topic and to derive conclusions about this entire body of research. It is not a single study in isolation. And what is important is that it bears the hallmark of Johns Hopkins University. This university is among the top 10 universities in the world in 15 subject areas. And you can download this paper on the URL which will now come on your screens. Now here is a brief introduction to the researchers who published this paper. Professor Hanke is professor at Johns Hopkins Institute for Applied Economics and Global Health. He has served as an advisor on the Council of Economic Advisors to President Reagan of the United States. Also, he has been an advisor to five foreign heads of state and five foreign cabinet ministers. And he has held a cabinet level rank in both Lithuania as well as Montenegro. In 1998, he was named as one of the 25 most influential people in the world by World Trade Magazine. And in the year 2020, Professor Hanke was knighted in his own country. The other co-author is Lars Jonung. He is a professor emeritus at the Lund University in Sweden. He has been the chief advisor to the Prime Minister of Sweden and a research advisor to the European Commission from the year 2000 to 2010. The third author is Jonas Herbie and he is a special advisor at the Center of Political Studies, Copenhagen, Denmark. This meta-analysis of 24 research papers found that calculations show lockdowns saved only 0.2% lives. That is, the lockdowns were able to save less than one quarter of 1% of the total deaths. Let us now see how these percentages translate into actual numbers. Here is a snapshot from the Indian Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The red box on the right hand side shows the number of deaths in India up to 12th of February 2022 from the time the pandemic was declared in March 2020. Let me of course first state that every life is precious and every death has devastated a family. The total death count in India since it all began stands at 5 lakhs 7,981. If we do a little calculation, we get this number. The number we get is 1,016 lives saved over the course of 22 months. Or that translates to one or maximum two lives saved per day due to the lockdown measures in a population of 1 billion, 400 million or 140 crores. Let us now see in the next slide 
what was the price paid in terms of jobs and damage to economy to save one or two lives every day once again let me very emphatically state that every life is precious but one should know as thoreau said the price that we have had to pay we must accept that everything comes for a price as henry thoreau once said the price of anything is the amount of life that you exchange for it so what was the price of saving these 1016 lives this plot on your screen shows the impact on unemployment rate in india it peaked to around 23.4% just after the first lockdown and later it recovered it means that one out of every four persons who were in employment lost their jobs one out of every four persons it peaked once again in may 2021 to 11.8% which is roughly one person out of every eight who were employable were without a job it is actually estimated that nearly 1 crore or 10 million people lost their jobs when the unemployment rate went up this bar graph shows the quarterly change in the gross domestic product or the gdp as we can see in the first quarter of financial year 2021 gdp shrank by nearly 24% this is the price paid by the nation for the steps that it took in terms of lockdowns and isolation this was the price that was paid by the nation to save those 1016 lives over the course of 22 months so what exactly did the lockdowns achieve for one perhaps a lower case rate and they had practically a negligible impact on the death rate at all some people have criticized this paper that they are only looking at the death rate mortality and not at the case count the reason for this is that the authors claim that death rates are the most reliable medical statistic across the world including totalitarian regimes and irrespective of the quality of data collected case rates and other statistics may be variable or suspect but death rates are virtually a guarantee to truth or being at least very close to the truth now here is the opinion of another expert and this expert is dr jennifer grant a medical microbiologist and an expert on infectious diseases and here is what she has to say she states it made little sense to prevent young people from living normally because they are at a very low risk of getting very sick but have been very very heavily hit by the impacts of lockdown most of the working population comes in this age group of young people and they had a minimal risk so shutting down an economy or the economies across the world was really not rooted in science So what is the alternative the authors of this paper conclude that the strength of the society and the common sense of the common man must never be underestimated and must always be harnessed that is the most potent intervention the private actions of the common citizens the next important thing is voluntary behavioral changes people respond as a community to any impending danger that comes this fact has been overlooked in fact these voluntary behavioral changes or vbcs are 10 times more effective than mandatory measures and this fact has been overlooked in all the modeling theories which painted a very grim picture that grossly overstated the dangers of this particular pandemic as a matter of fact it would have been much better managed if all these grim predictions of doom 
were more based in reality and had more trust of the strengths of the common person. In conclusion, the authors of this meta-analysis vehemently emphasize over and over again that lockdowns should be rejected outright as a pandemic policy instrument. It is indeed unfortunate that public opinion today is molded either by the media or by politicians of every hue and shade. Both of them are entirely unscientific and do not have your interest in mind. You, the ordinary citizen, is endowed with clear thinking and intellect and you have access to a lot of data. You must not allow your opinions to be swayed by such unscientific sources. Please watch the other videos on my channel, The Wiser Owls Academy, in particular, the trilogy of these videos. The first is Science as a Belief, where we show that in today's world, most people tend to believe in science rather than questioning through the medium of science. The next one is Temptations of Science, where the scientist often falls prey to the same trick of miracles and frauds like other people in other branches of social life. And of course, the third one is equally important, which is science, a jealous God. The concept of physics envy is introduced over here to show us about the limitations and the vast expanse of science, which still remains undiscovered. Thank you very much for your support and please share and enlighten others with this channel. This brings me to the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention and we shall meet once again soon in the next video which will be released very shortly. Thank you and bye bye until we meet again.